Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. So today I wanted to share with you guys the look that I've been sporting lately. Um, it's a very glowy, um, very youthful look in my opinion. Some of you guys have asked me to show you how I do it in my previous videos. Um, sometimes I do change up the shadows a little bit, but generally this is the kind of style that I've been going for. And uh, as you can see, it's pretty neutral. Um, I've gone away with the, you know, the very stark liner that I'm, I, I naturally gravitate towards, and I still do that um, every now and then. I and I do think that it is more flattering for me to have that liner, but um, sometimes I do like to just change it up. If you guys want to know how I got this makeup look, just keep watching. Bye. So today I wanted to share with you guys um, my everyday makeup routine. This is going to be a bit of a chatty video just because I think it will be easier that way. Um, so let's just get on with it. I have my cup of coffee here prepared by my wonderful brother. Let's get on with it. So first, like I mentioned in my um, favorites video, the first thing you want to do is obviously protect your skin from the sun. The foundation I've been using and really enjoying lately is the CoverGirl True Blend. Um, you've probably seen me use this in my previous Getting Ready With Me and I have it in num M4 Sand Beige. I like to put it on the palette just to make it easy to use. And then just apply it with your favourite foundation brush today. I'm using the Real Techniques um, and I believe this is the buffing brush. And I just pat it on. Next, I go in with a corrector. I've been using the NYX Dark Circle Concealer, and this is in number three medium. And I'm actually nearly out. Just apply it with your favorite concealer brush. I'm just using this Sedona Lace 217. And this is my preferred brush for applying concealer, actually. And I just pat it down like this. And this just color corrects, as you guys are probably aware, it doesn't really brighten under the eye. So once I've got that down, I actually go in with a lighter concealer. And I've, I enjoy using the Maybelline Fit Me Concealer. That's what it looks like. And I just pop it under there. And sometimes I do just put a little bit on the cheeks as well, and down the bridge of my nose and around my nose. Sometimes I do this, sometimes I don't. It really depends on how I feel, but today I thought I'd do it just for extra brightness. And then I always just dab, just because doing like a stippling motion will stop it from looking too streaky. And there you go. And I just blend it all out again with my foundation brush. If I'm using this Becca Beach Tint, I will apply it on now before setting my face but today I think I'll just use a powder blush so what I will do is set my face now I'm just using the Rimmel Stay Matte translucent powder and just applying it with a big fluffy brush this is the Sedona Lace 376 And I am going to apply bronzer as well. At this point, I've got the Kiko Cosmetics. It doesn't have a number, it just says bronzer powder. And I'm applying it using the Models Prefer 104 powder brush. So it's just a big fluffy brush essentially. And I use this just to um, kind of bronze my face up rather than contour so you know I do contour it a little bit by applying it under the cheekbones first but then I do go around and just warm my face up with it. So for brows I use my e.l.f. cream eyeliner and it's just a pretty um, ashy brown colour and I just apply that with my Sedona Lace 561 And I always just start from the back and work your way to the front. And with what's left over, I just um, 
shade the front. So today I'm going to share with you my everyday kind of eye look. Apply a primer. I'm using the Solid Rose Professional Cosmetics Primer. This is quite old. I got it a few years ago and I mean, I'm not telling anyone to run out and get it. But just use what you have. If you have Urban Decay, use that. Um, I'm just trying to use up what I have at the moment. I'm not recommending this to anyone or suggesting you guys go out and get it because there are better brands out there and I just apply it all over the lid let me just have a bit of my coffee next I will be applying my shadows so um, for every day I mostly use my Coastal Scents um, palette that I've created some of these are Coastal Scents, some of these are Jordana it is just a mix of shadows that um, I've popped into a palette. First I'm going to apply this um, medium brown colour. This is this is Coastal Scents Persian Peach. That's what it looks like. So I just apply this with a fluffy brush basically um, in the crease as a transition colour just to make blending easier later on. And then I go in with this um, one of the shades by Jordana. It's one of their um, brow colours and it's in light brown. Um, and I just go in with basically the same brush and just pop it into the crease again. But just keeping it on the outside. I go in with a pointier brush. This is from Crystal Sense. It's just a fluffy pointed crease brush. And I go in with a darker shade again. And this time I'm going to be using that colour there. This is in um, Deep Roast by Crystal Sense. And I bring that, I pop that in the outer V and then just at the bottom. Add a third of the lower lash line as well. And you want to just blend everything together with the same brush that you used. Same fluffy brush that you used before. And now I'm going to be using my favourite shade lately. And that is this bronzy olive colour. And it is called Golden Sienna. This is what it looks like. This is the colour. It's just like a golden olive bronzy colour. It's just absolutely stunning. So we'll just apply that on all over the lid and bring it just above the crease of the mobile lid. So if you have hooded lids like me, you just want to bring it just a little bit above where your, your hooded crease is just so you can see a little bit of the colour take a pencil brush this is by Sigma it's E30 and I just bring that color to the lower lash line and the next shade I'm using is this washery gold color here the coastal sense hot pot in SO3 I think I bought this when coastal sense hadn't named their shadows yet so I'm not sure what it's called it's a golden champagne color as you can see there I actually like to apply this colour with a flat shader brush such as a concealer brush just so you can get a pretty good application and I just like to pop it in the centre of my lid just like that and I like, I've liked doing this lately because it just creates um, dimension to your lids especially if you've got um, a, a hooded eye or a smaller eye and just brings light to the centre of your lid and makes it look a little bit more prominent and then just blend it out so that so it's not like smack bang I've applied a stripe of this color in the middle and then I actually like to also bring this into the inner corners my tear duct just to highlight it now I'm going to line my waterline I'm using, using the Urban Decay Jumbo Liner in Sin I still want my Sephora jumbo liner. Still on the lookout for it. 
and hopefully I can get it in my hot little hands. A coal liner. So this one is the Stila Kajal eyeliner in Tiger. And it's just a deep brown. And I just basically run it on the top of my lashes. And then I grab a smudge brush. This is a Sigma smudge. E21, it just looks like this. It's just a dense little brush. Just smudge that coal liner in. This will usually do me, and then all I have to do now is apply my mascara. I've been using Better Fit Their Real for a very long time, and I'm just gonna apply that now. Of course, I apply some to the lower lash line as always. That's basically the eye look done. Um, I will go in with my blusher and I'm using Peaches by MAC. Just looks like this. I apply it just quite high up. So just above the contour like that. Then I go in with a highlighter. At the moment I'm still using my Physician's Formula. And this is in Malibu Strip. And I mostly use the top layers there as you can see. And I just go in with a fan brush and apply it like that. And I go very heavy with the highlighter because I love me some glow. And for the most part, I very rarely put on lip colour because it's my everyday look. But I do mostly use nude colours for this look. Either I will go in with my NYX Soft Matte Lip Cream in London. And I'll show you what this looks like. And um, having a matte lip like this really just nicely offsets all the shimmer that's on the face. This is one of my favourite lip colours to use. But at the same time, sometimes I like to be really glowy, especially when I'm filming. Um, so I do sometimes actually a gloss on top and this time this is the Maybelline New York Ice Chocolate Lip Gloss I don't know which line it is but it's by Maybelline and I just apply it on top and this does make you look super glowy so this is what it looks like you guys like I said I very rarely will actually wear this lip color um, to work or on an everyday basis with this look but when I'm filming I do actually sometimes like to um, have a glossy lip with it so I mean it depends on how you're feeling if you're feeling super glowy and fabulous you can go ahead and do this lip color um, but it is a little bit over the top I have to admit or otherwise you can just use the a nude matte lipstick which I think goes perfectly with this look so this is my say spring summer makeup look that I've gravitated towards in the in the past few months um, and I do really enjoy wearing it and this is the look everybody So hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. I really just wanted to thank everyone for their wonderful feedback on my lookbook. That did take a little bit of effort to film unfortunately and my editing skills are shot. Um, but I will do my best to continue making you know, fashion videos for you guys. Um, I apologise that um, you know, my uni study tips has not really come to life um, as of yet. Obviously I do want to have a think about it. I don't want to just say generic things though sometimes that is all I can say. Um, but you know if you guys have any specific questions that you want me to address in my next you know, study uni tips video please include them down below and I will get to filming that for you guys as soon as I can. Um, I also do want to film my Louis Vuitton video right after this so you may or may not see my Louis Vuitton collection first. I have actually already filmed that like three times but ugh, for some reason this stupid camera of mine will not focus on me and will just continue focusing on the background which is a little bit ridiculous okay so 
with all that said, thank you again for watching, liking and subscribing to my channel. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram, my main social media outlet. I do have Facebook and Twitter and Snapchat now too if you want more of me. So hopefully you guys enjoy. Thumbs up for more and I will see you guys in my next one. Bye.